Hi guys, Danny Frankenstein here again. Uh, I'm going to read you another excerpt from my tour diary. Here it is. Uh, it was really expensive. I bought it in an airport and it didn't have any words in it. I've had to put all the words in there myself. Um, this is from yesterday. It was a really weird start to the day as I had a trip to see Sharon Osborne's private private doctor. He introduced himself as Dr. Leslie, gynecologist, and I thought, well, that's probably why you chose to become a gynecologist, eh, mate? I had put a close-up picture of my hairy flower on Instagram, and it only got 17 likes, so I was considering surgery to make it look more appealing. I'm just being honest with you guys, I'm just trying to tell you the truth. Dr. Leslie's pamphlet says, If a woman wants bits of her labia cut off so her vagina looks exactly like one her boyfriend has seen on the television, then that is her own decision. Who is to judge what is a nice vagina and what is a disgusting and wrong and evil one? You're happy to show your builder a picture of a kitchen you've seen on Homes Under the Hammers. Why not show me a picture of a lovely vagina? But then, thankfully, I woke up and it had all been a dream. Because, as we know, cosmetic labiaplasty is mental. Especially in a world where we all know about FGM now. So that's what happened. Uh, also, there's another little bit. I bought a clock. I love clocks. As a vegan, I don't think I can eat that still has a face. Um, that's what happened to me yesterday. Love you.